Hello folks and welcome to Democracy 4. I'm a veteran, I guess, of Democracy. I've played Democracy my entire life. I think I remember playing Democracy 1. And uh, yeah, Democracy 4 is here. I haven't actually played Democracy 4 before, but I imagine that the mechanics are very much the same. So hopefully we'll be able to do something interesting this time. Before we start, I have to say that uh, I have a press code of this, and this is why I'm also releasing this video before the official release date of Democracy 4, which is coming on October 6th, 2020. And, uh, yeah, I, um... So, you know, what you see here might not actually be what's out on release, but, uh, yeah. So basically, I have four countries that I can start with, plus these four other ones, which I guess are coming later, uh, I suppose. I think we're going to start as the US just because, you know, biggest country, uh, most interesting for now. Well, every country is interesting to start off as, but we'll uh, we'll start with the US. So we're going to start off with all the defaults, except that our player party name is the Socialist Revolutionary Party, the opposition is the Republican and the Democratic Party. I guess, I don't really know why... Like it's, I can select three parties here, three party system. I guess it starts off as a two party system or three party, I don't know what's up here. So we'll see when we get into the game here, but uh, yeah, so this is how we start off. Aha, so I've, we've won the election. Uh, I wonder <laughs> how popular we are, probably not very popular, even though we won the election. <laughs> yeah, zero support, zero activists, zero members. I wonder how I got into power. Now, this is a significant increase in the uh, state health service, but we shall apply the changes and move on. Ban public smoking. Yes, liberals won't be happy, whatever. We'll lower military spending here. And uh, what else? Ah, let's uh, increase community policing to maximum. I always love that. Confirm using zero political capital. Okay. Also food standards. Let's do that. Uh, do we even have that capital? Yeah, we do. Excellent. And legal aid. Apply changes. Ah, oh, we must uh, stop obesity. What's this? Parents are happy. Great. Great, great, great. Let's have a maximum empty homes tax just for... Uh, just to have it. We'll see. We'll probably get <laughs> murdered. That's my feeling. A deadly virus outbreak. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, uh, that's bad. We'll see how we'll be able to deal with this. Science funding. Maximum. Uh, yes. Now, our deficit is huge. What, we, what do we do? Alcohol tax? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Technology grants. We must do this. I know, I know our debt is going to keep increasing, but it was already so high. So we have to get through this virus thing, all these things. We've we got to spend money to make money, right? Corporate manslaughter bill. Yes. Um, excellent. And uh, good news. Blah, blah, blah. The polls are not good. Environmental law alliance is staging protests. We have a giant deficit. Yada yada yada. This will lower my popularity further uh, by defunding the military, yeah, but it has to be done. Clean energy subsidies, max. Better tech colleges, excellent. And that's all our political capital, pretty much. The phenomenon of alcohol abuse has apparently subsided, excellent. Hybrid car initiative, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Somehow we're actually becoming more capitalists according to this uh, this compass here, uh, which is interesting. One of my donors wants a welfare fraud department. Yeah, I guess. Man, playing in America. This is uh, interesting. So we can actually make an income from this. Very moderate. Uh, the poor, which is our big voter group, will not like this. And uh, yeah, compassionate, not very good. But the middle income group is actually quite large. And conservatives, even though, you know, the plan is to slowly wipe them out, 
we'll uh, maybe get some of them on our side. Prison overcrowding is no longer a problem. Cluster bomb plan. A manufacture cluster bomb for foreign countries. Hmm. Cruel weapon, indeed. I agree. Situation imminent. Food crisis in our hands. Oh no. Maybe this will uh, will help a bit. Let's cancel the health tax credits. Quite expensive, and uh, not our roto group, so to speak. New major party donor. Oh, that's good. I guess. Junk food tax. Excellent. Oh, we must subsidize the arts. Yes, do that. A global hit drama. I feel like we already produced quite a few of those, but apparently the entire world is fascinated. The state postal service shall be the best service. Private prisons? Oh, let's do away with that abomination. Let's invest a little bit more in the space program. Our budget deficit is no longer gigantic, which is uh, nice to see. Even though the global economy is uh, decreasing, our relative strength is actually increasing. So uh, we're doing okay. Ah, oh, telecommuting initiative. Yes, yes. Let's do that. Um, car usage will decrease, but so will commuter membership in general. Uh, apply. Bus lanes implement. Let's go maximum. Ah, yes, we've passed the value of 50%, so we might actually be able to win the next elections. We're taking a bit of a turn here, and now moving left, as uh, the party tells us to. We don't have maternity leave? Oh, wow, okay. Well, time to uh, do that and paternity leave. Yes, productivity will decline, but we shall uh, boost it through other means, hopefully. City farms. Ooh. School shooting. Ugh. We must solve this problem. Oh, you see? So the productivity went down, but we actually uh, saw a boost of productivity. Um, so that's good. Plastic bag tax. Um, I mean, this is the thing. I think we'll uh, be encountering a climate crisis eventually, so we really have to get our deficit down so that we can end up investing in one of the cl the climate fund thing. Let's increase the space program even more. Oh, the gridlock is gone. Excellent. Uh, ban face recognition in public. Hmm. Well, we'll uh, allow face recognition. You know, just in case. Just in case. I would get 83% of the vote. That's fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Uh, environmental Alliance. My cabinet is loyal. That's nice. Oh, we actually have a surplus of 26 billion. That's, that's very good. So we can uh, give a speech and choose up to four little things here. So I want us to be a young country again with a common purpose. Ideals we cherish and live up to. Not resting on plastic glories, but fighting old blah, blah blah battles. State employees will be happy, self-employed won't. Of course, our vision and our aims go far beyond the complex arguments of economics. But unless we get the economy, liberals become happy, conservatives not so much. And so today I don't want to talk about the present, I want to talk about the future. Whatever we have in store cannot be known, blah blah blah. Patriots will become happier. Speech. Speech results. Let's see this. I don't know what this really means. I have no idea what plus minus 10% means. Is it for everyone? Stan, please, are happy. Patriots. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. Climate change adaption fund. So we'll do this and we'll spend... Uh, 
the minimum amount, I suppose. Uh, you know what? I mean, we could have it at the max, but that's like a huge jump. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, 67 billion sounds like a lot, but we'll, uh, hopefully our economy will, will do well. <laughs> the opposition has been stomped. Look at that. Ah, uh, we don't have any <laughs> members apparently. Uh, but I think that comes after the f second election. A streamer offers to sing a birthday song to me. She's known for her, her tiny dresses and adult themed songs, making her very popular amongst young people. I'll accept it, I guess. Uh, oh, parents were not happy, but oh well. Oh, we do have members, apparently. It just doesn't show up here. Yet. Now, uh, let's... How has our fundraising worked? Perceptions? Speeches? Yeah. Uh, interesting. Oh, we really need to invest in uh, education and maybe even immigration a bit so so that we don't get the skill shortage uh, malice here. This will increase our deficit from, yeah, by 40 billion, but you know, you've got to do the things you got to do. Uh, maybe we'll do something else too. Let's do a uh, publicity stunt for trustworthiness. Let's eat breakfast in a typical builder's cafe. Oh, excellent. Better trustworthiness. Maybe we can do... How much political? We have six left. Let's do... Um, uh, compassionate. Uh, we could do attend... No, give speech at church. Visit the aftermath of a flood. It just happened to be around, of course. Uh, success chance. Oh, not very high. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this though. Oh no! Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. So, yeah, flash crash because of automated trading. Interesting. I'll uh, remember that. Let's promise to raise gender equality. Uh, liberals are happy. Okay. And yeah, that should be it. Internet crime on the rise. That's bad. Let's put in trading delays because that's all we can afford for now. And uh, yeah, my cabinet is not a very happy bunch. Here we go, the most exciting part of democracy. Let's begin the count and see just how amazing we are. Looks like people like the Revolutionary Party. 97% of the vote. Wow. Well, I mean, 48% abstained. Uh, but yeah. Let's see, breakdown. Even capitalists voted for me. Wow. Okay. Farmers. We did decrease crime by quite a bit. Gender equality's up. Oil demand, CO2 emissions. Yeah, we're pretty good, I'd say. That was just the first term. Uh, and we went from 0 to 97% uh, of the vote. Water shortage? What a weird fluctuation there. Although we do have the fund, so I guess that's probably what's helping uh, change that. A database of everyone's DNA. Let's do criminal only. Um, okay. National Armed Forces Week. Goodbye. Let's increase our foreign aid because we are about to have a rare earth crisis, which does not sound like a good thing to have. Let's get 15 billion with the recreational drugs tax. So internet crime, rare earth crisis, and cyberbullying are a thing, but water shortage and pollution are gone, um, which is good. Housing expansion, hmm. Let's keep the planning laws, environmentalists are happy, excellent. Now the question is, what we do about all this technological crime stuff? Let's do a cyberbullying campaign. Uh, I think we can probably stop that in the long run, but I don't know about the internet crime. I always get confused. Democracy 3 also had this, where it's like, if your technology just goes up too fast, there's nothing you can really do about internet crime, as far as I'm aware. Apparently we didn't have a diplomatic service. Let's do that. Quantum computing and the excellent. That's really good. Oh, pollution is back. Why? 
Oh, that must have been the flash crash effect, I guess. And water shortage has returned. Ah, oh, great. You know what? Let's max out the climate ad change adaption fund here. It's expensive, but uh, it must be done. We'll also invest in the trade council. And general mutilation ban from female only to imprisonment because we just need the gender equality thing uh, in order to get our election promises through. Ah, excellent. Look at that. The entire population is moving towards fanatical support for us. That's really good. Be filmed feeding a baby lamb. Hopefully this will work. Ah, our compassion is back to zero. Faith schools? Um, sorry. Compulsory foreign language classes apply. We're gonna spend a little bit more for a space station. Hopefully that will help us out. And yeah, that's zero capital. I'm like, why is everything red? Ban single-use plastic. Yes, okay. Uncompetitive economy. Hopefully, yeah, we might have to raise the productivity a bit somehow. Term limit, uh, you know, three maybe? Let's do that. Public tax returns. Let's do that. Let's ban uh, low MPG cars. National team exits World Cup. Oh no, you know, I need to invest more in sports. It looks like people are not, we're not doing very well. Vertical farm sub subsidies, because apparently we're approaching a food crisis again. So we'll do that, and yeah, we don't have that much political capital. The obesity problem's finally gone. Wow. Block a merger. Sounds like a good idea. And what's this? Polls are good. Deficit is decreasing. Cabinet report. Yeah, good. Public libraries. Let's go. Compulsory school sports. That should uh, help us out. The youth will not be happy, but health will go up, which is always good. An executive term limit. What about four? <laughs> 99% of the vote. Look at that. It's so easy to win. And obesity's up again. God damn. These people. There we go. Let's uh, let's give a speech that benefits the liberals, the state employees, and the parents. Again, not really sure what the line represents, uh, other than it's positive. Also, I have a hundred percent approval rating and voter intention, so I doubt it really matters. I mean, look at—is it? Uh, yeah, that's a hundred percent. It's crazy. <laughs> this donor wants married tax allowance. Never. You can abandon me. That's fine. Time to reshuffle my cabinet because apparently a lot of people in my thing... Like, why were you chosen? I didn't even choose you. Patriot and religious. Of course you're not going to like me. Oh, I had achieved this and then suddenly it fell right before the election. And we only have one turn to achieve this. And I doubt we'll be able to... But we could try. See? Right here. I don't know what happened, but we're gonna increase the Gender Discrimination Act, uh, and hopefully that will change. Oh, I kind of get it now. It's almost as if, like, how people are feeling about your speech as you're giving it. Oh, here we go again. Of course I've won. If I don't win, it's ridiculous. Uh, how many abstain, though? Non-voters. 63%! Shit. I mean, I only got... Wow, okay. We did worse. Somehow. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll do stuff. Also, my cabinet, they're decent. I'll keep them as they are. Now, time to do some more controversial stuff, you know? We've gotta stop the crime. It just has to stop. So, let's apply universal monitoring here. Honestly, it's mostly because I, I hope it affects internet crime, but if it doesn't, I mean, that's just a waste. We might just get killed because of that. Oh, cyber warfare down, crime down, strong leadership up. Excellent. Uh, nuclear test ban treaty, sign the treaty. Yes, 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 yes. 
Uh, so we still have, oh, we have a surplus. Very, very small though, but that's good. And uh, I've changed a couple things. I think it was just mostly criminal stuff. Um, instead of a harsh regime, we have a gentle regime and stuff like that. I think we'll just collect some political capital to uh, implement interesting stuff. Might have to go around here and check uh, if there's stuff. Because like, there are a lot of policies that I haven't checked yet that were implemented before we came into power. All right, let's raise. It's a lot of money, but we'll uh, we have to raise the state health service because we still have hospital overcrowding going on. Freedom of Information Act. Okay. Uh, good news: the economy is going well. We have a bigger deficit now, but we're still doing well. I mean, we started with a big deficit, so like the changes are minuscule. Five mandate limit apply. License required, apply. International Literary Award, excellent, glorious. We're so good, we're so good. Let's uh, get childcare provision through. Uh, I think, obviously our debt, yada yada yada, but we're good. Punitive wealth tax, yes, let's do that. You know, okay, the wealthy would be very angry if we go all the way that way but maybe 40% mm, high earnings charity socialism socialists okay no limits let's do that ah, glorious let's uh, raise the income taxes a little bit uh, by like a hundred billion that should help us with our deficit and then we can invest in maybe taking away the uh, VATs. I feel like we've lost a lot of members and activists. Didn't we have like 29 million members or something? <laughs> uh, well, I guess, you know, with time and me raising the term limits and stuff, that probably changes people's opinion of me. Although, they still love me in general, so that's good. You can definitely see here, that's probably the uh, raising of the taxes. Luxury goods tax, just for uh, symbolic value. Oh, and then we could use that as well for to have micro-generation grants. Uh, I don't know how it looked before, but apparently 99% of our country is ethnic minorities. Which I guess, yeah, would probably be right if the Native Americans are uh, <laughs> the native population and then everyone else is part of an immigrant minority, but I don't know. I don't know how this number changed or what it was before. Another election. Excellent. I mean, I'm not gonna lose, am I? But the non-voters might increase again. Yeah, 98% of the vote, but yeah, 61% uh, abstention. Who is trade unionists? Self-employed. Huh. Egalitarian society, a new era is upon us. Nice. We have another flash crash that we should probably fix with more regulation on the automated transactions. It's bad for GDP, but, you know, it'll stop these crashes. Mars program, a bit expensive, but we should... Uh, We'll start off with the satellite, and then we'll slowly increase it. Parenting classes sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do that. So we started an international fusion research project. Environmentalists don't like it, even though it's good for the environment. Same with fission, but oh well. Green electronics initiative. Ooh. Rare earth crisis would diminish pollution. Kepler's CO2 emission. Excellent. Let's uh, implement random password checks instead of biometric stuff. Let's cancel the policy of citizenship tests. And voila. Oh no, there's a real estate bubble. Surprise, surprise. State housing max. Let's go. Youth club subsidies. Glorious. Prisoner voting. 
Oh, of course, maximum. Oh, another election already. I don't think the Republicans are going to do much. And... Oh, we actually raised our share against the uh, non-voters, I guess. We banned cars in inner cities. Uh, we're getting some capital. Our max is 44. In order to do toll or satellite road price, I need 45 max, though. Driverless car laws. Very good. Ah, oh, banned second home ownership. That should work. The wealthy and the capitalists won't be happy, but, you know. It's uh, what you have to do. Uh, right to privacy also implemented proportional fines. Let's see. The real estate bubble is gone. Excellent. 100% um, of votes. Still a budget, budget deficit. Slowly rising, but I don't really care. Because the truth is, if you get your economy to grow fast enough, you can, in a way, obviously start earning more uh, so that your debt ratio kind of stays the same. And it's sort of what we've done here. Obviously, it's been increasing over the long run, but uh, it's not too bad. This may hit our productivity slightly, but let's get workers on boards as we have in Northern Europe and other countries. Uh, Doctor Strike, Working Week, Productivity. Yeah, you know what? Let's do max. Sharp turns left now. I wonder how far we're gonna come. You know what? Let's uh, let's go to what is it? Yeah, three term limit, maybe two, three, no four. Yeah, let's do four. I mean, we'll, uh, we have to wrap this up, you know, I've been playing forever. Uh, see, events are, you know, repeating themselves, and I can understand that they do that, you know, you can't code infinite amounts of events, but obviously, once you run a country as well as I do, uh, clearly, the world kind of just becomes repetitive. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria, we're gonna ban antibiotics, of course. Uh... Hmm. There it is. Implement uh, farmers' income. Farmers won't be happy. Farmers can't. This food price will go up. Yeah, maybe we don't want all of that. We'll put this to medium, and hopefully, it will help a bit. Oh yeah, atheist schools. Excellent. Election results. I changed the term limit. I shouldn't be able to win again. I don't know why this is happening. At least the Republicans got zero. Zero votes. 100% of the vote goes to us. 54% to non-voters. Retiring glory! Oh! Okay, so... That's good. We, um... We've done well. We've done very well. So in our time, lifespans went up... <laughs> 91%. That's crazy. Uh, foreign relations... 75%. Gender equality, 71%. Health, 70%. CO2 emissions went down dramatically. Private healthcare as well. Tourism went up a bit. Private housing, crime, and oil demand. Energy efficiency up. Higher earnings. Bus usage, population, immigration, traffic congestion, diets, equality, oil price, electric car transition, blah, blah, blah. GDP went up. Oh, yeah, I think we did pretty well. Uh. I didn't really get that many achievements as I'm used to in the other democracy games, but it might be because it's uh, it's obviously not technically released yet. Uh, this is a press build, build as I said before. Um, but yeah. Oh, so I click retire and I don't... that's it. I don't even get to see my compass. Or maybe I can see the compass here. So you can see different changes. We were right in the middle there at the end and we were moving far left and mega liberal um, which is kind of cool it feels very much just like all the other democracy games I don't actually know if there's much difference to democracy 3 as far as I can tell uh, I'm sure there will be a bunch of DLC in the future that will expand upon further blah 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 um, but I don't know this is uh, it's an interesting game I think it's not for everyone and it might be a bit repetitive. Like, I'd be just as happy playing Democracy 3 as far as 
uh, this new version is concerned. But again, this is a press build. Maybe there's more interesting stuff. And of course, there's probably always going to be new mods and stuff to download um, in the near future. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you have any comments or suggestions. Please leave them down below. It's been Game Gapster. Farewell.